2020 or 2003? Hmm. MPC 1000s, one of my favorite all-time music making things. They're simple, they're straightforward, they're very direct, fast, functional, flexible. Yeah, if you're new to the 1000s, this might be good for you. This is the first time I've really done a compact creations on just the 1000. And um, yeah, I'm excited for it. Let's see kind of what we come up with. If you're new to the 1K workflow, this might be kind of beneficial to you. If you don't even have a 1000, hopefully this is fun for you to watch. But yeah, let's, uh, let's get into it. All right, MPC 1000, um, one of my favorite MPCs. I'm running the JJOS 2XL version 3.62. Two, I think it might be six one. Um, he recently updated it in I think I want to say September 2019, and I got the latest update. It might be six two if I'm thinking correctly. It's the paid version, and I really like it because it basically turns my MPC 4000 shrinks it down and turns it into this with all the little pad combinations. So yeah, I can't complain. I really like the way this thing feels and the speed of things. And um, yeah, without fluffing it up too much, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I just had some tea, so I'm gonna just keep it chill and not set it to 177. My bad, I meant to do 117. Cool. Um, bars, let's just do two bars. Do it. Loop from the first to the end. And so, okay, there's a couple different ways. I mean, there's a million different ways to make a song on the MPC 1000. This is my preferred way. And I kind of carry this method from the 4000, which didn't have pad mutes, where you can just mute individual pads. I live in the track mute section. So why I'm even telling you this is because I have track one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, all listening to the same drum kit, AKA a program, which is the MPC language for it. Um, yeah, so they're all listening to the same kit. So no matter where I go, I can still hit the same sounds. And this is my main drum programs with 64 sounds of my favorite sounds. So I got a bunch of kicks, a bunch of hats, and so on and so forth. So this is the way I like to do this. And the reason is because, eh, let's start making some music and I'll start telling you why. Full level. Cool, so if I go to time control, I have it set to a 16th, swing at 60, because I go hard with it, boom. So now I can go to track two and add, that's cool, clap. Track three, we'll say bank B. All right, that's cool, but I'm not gonna use full level, I'm gonna use 16 level of the velocity. So what that gives me is just, 16 levels of velocity, go figure. Um, I kinda like that. We'll say play from the beginning. Cool, now I'm gonna do my open hat, turn 16 levels off. Sounds cool. So a lot of times I'll just use 16 levels instead of turning down the volume of a sample. I don't know why, I find it quicker than having to go into mode, program, find the sample and all that stuff. So I'll just kind of hit it until I find the volume I like. That's kind of cool. And I'll go between these two to just give it a little bit more movement. All right, that works. Let's go to track one. I'm using that sound, I need to tighten that up. Amplitude, we'll say note on. I'll set this to zero, hit numeric. So now it's really sharp. Um, I'll do 30 and some release. Cool, so now what's great about this is I'm editing that on track one. But what's cool is I can go to our open hat, which is that sound there. 
even though I'm on track one, I'm still editing the program, aka a drum kit, from um, the same pool. So they're all all the tracks are pulling from the same drum kit. So if I change some settings on track one, it'll still apply it to track three. So I don't have to keep tracking around. So mode program, I just want to shorten up that. So I'm going to set the play mode instead of one shot to note on. And let's hear it now. Cool, it's basically gone. Set the release up. Cool. And all these drum modes, if I hold down shift, I can say all, set them all to mono. Now I set them all to mono and I don't think any of the sounds actually have enough time to play over one another, but you never know. It could kind of help clean up the mix a little bit in case you have um, a hi-hat with a lot of air in the sample that can be bringing in some, I don't know, some weird low end that you don't hear on your headphones or whatnot, but on a loud system you will. So I like setting it to mono just to kind of help choke everything out, especially within itself at least. You can always set up your mute groups, but we'll get into that later. Hopefully, maybe, I don't know. Cool, that works. All right, holding down this, this is a helpful tip on the JJOS. Holding this down, I can jump to any track using the pads. So we have our kick, our clap, our closed hat, open hat, and we'll do, um, oh, bank B. So track five, um, you know what? I'm gonna stick to the way I normally do things. Track nine is usually my sample program, window, new, let's call this a sample. So we'll do S A M. Where's the P at? Where's my P at? P L E. Done, bro. We'll do instrument. Cool. So mode. I'm going to load some chords. If I go to my samples, I have some chords here. This is from a collection that I found. I want to say by Rick Wilhite. I think it was the guy who got this really dope, super dope house producer. But check these out. Oh my God, that is loud. that one I'm gonna load that to a one yes and the reason I said it there is because I've already created the program sample here if you did that on um, while you had another program selected you would overwrite a sample so be careful so now this plays back chromatically that's the original sample there oh I don't know if I'm gonna like this Ooh, I do not like this. This is the cheesiest thing I've ever heard. All right, let's find a new sample. Ooh, that is dope. So I'm gonna just overwrite that, yes. Main. Up, undo. Okay, so that's kind of cool, but I want to see if I can do this um, unquantized because I kind of like this weird uh, tripping feeling I'm finding, but it's kind of hard to do. So let's see. Ah. Dope. Program, filter, type, low pass. Uh, ADSR amount, a lot, sustain, none. Dope. LFO. All this to go to the filter. All right, so this is cool, but. Uh, I don't know if I really like that. Erase. So I like this note, but I want it to go on longer. So I'm going to set it to loop. Loop on. The loop start will be at the beginning. 
And now we gotta find the end point. So now I can actually go and do a crossfade if I wanted. But what's also cool is I can find kind of these zero points, a zero cross, like the next nearest. Ah. That's kind of cool. Yeah, that's fine. Sweet. So now if I go back. So this is great because I have that crazy LFO going up and down. It kind of masks the little click and pop sound. And if I really wanted, I could dial that in a bit better, but whatever. Yo, this is where it's at. I need to um, edit this. So I'm going to go to my bars. I want to copy from first bar to last bar, one copy to sequence one after bar one. So this is going, to, or after bar two. So I kind of messed that up. And yeah, I might have to undo that. <laughs> All right. Bars, copy from the first bar to the last bar after bar two, which means this will give me four bars. Awesome. Dope. Ta, ta, ta. So you can hear there the first track has really loud velocity. If I go back in bars, I can see the very first note I hit is clearly a velocity of 127. Everything else is a little less. I'm going to just lower that down. You know what, and I'm going to just bring the second event up a little bit. Cool. Mode, program, filter. So I need to add a little bit of high pass because it's pretty bassy. Bring this down. Cool, that's nice. Um, effects, let's add some effects. Effects one, we'll do a bit of a reverb and we'll say, go to our mix. Where is it at? Um, all right, it's in the programs, out. Instrument uses tracks. So this is gonna track nine. Go to effects A. There it is. That's our little reverb. Dope. Track 10. Let's get some bass in here. Uh, window. Ooh, wrong button. New. Let's call this uh, B. A. A. S. S. Delete, delete, delete. Enter. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, why not? I normally use the drums because I can just pitch her across 16 levels, but the JJOS is really good at putting the pads chromatically. So, you know, why hamstring myself? This is fine. So now, I, if I go back to my samples, I got these little one shots, single sounds. A bunch of these are from the Harvey and Muscle sample pack that has been going around for a hot minute. There's a couple little lately bass sounds in here. That's kind of nice. You know what? I like this one. Yeah, let's do that. So load that. I'm going to load it to A1. Yes. Main. Full level. Please forgive my playing. That works. Yeah. So 
So remember how I separated all the tracks? I can just press one button and it takes me to my track mutes, which means I can then go and just take my kick out. Or if I want to take my clap out, I don't have to hit track mute, then pad mute, and then bank around and find where I'm at. And if I'm on the wrong track, it's messed up. So I like being able to hit one button and take me exactly where I need to go. All right, cool. Let's go to uh, track 11, drums, new. Let's call this bad boy the lead. Where are we at? Where are we at? L E A. No matter how long I use this thing, I can never get used to where the letters are. I can't get fast on this. I'm pretty quick on the 4000 because it's across the whole thing. But in here, I just, I don't know, man. I just can't do it. So we'll go back to these single sounds and we'll go to the piano multis. All right, let's get kind of loungy, lizardy with it. Oh. I bet this could benefit from uh, some effects. We're on track 11. Turn that down. All right, cool. So this is perfect time to show we're on this sequence, window, copy, do it. We've now copied that sequence to sequence two. I just want to add that, but we'll do 16 levels of that. I like this kind of pseudo delay. Oh, whoa, is our timing correction still off? Whoops, whatever. That's kind of cool. Let's see if I can hold it for four bars. I'm cramping. Yo, ooh, that little jump right there was kind of tight too. Oh, I don't know what happened at the end there. Let's find out. Uh, mode, step edit, bar, 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 bar. We'll say up, V15, duration, 54. That's wrong, let's do 10. Velocity, that's way too hot, 30. 50, wrong. Yeah, so it kind of like got some weird hung notes. I wonder if that's some of my pads. Some of these pads are a little funky. Uh, we'll do 20. All right, hopefully that fixed it. Let's let's take a listen. Yes, yes. Ooh. Yep. Okay, we need to fix that kick. That kick is so just lackadaisical. You know what's tight is we can actually mute this kick here for sequence two and we'll say copy, do it. To do that, just go over onto the sequence, hit window. It brings it up there, but I don't wanna do it again. So now we're on three and I'm gonna to go to drum one and erase all the pads for drum one. That's another reason why I like doing it this way where everything's in its own tracks because I can quickly erase stuff. Even though you can hit erase, and select what notes you want and then erase it that way. I still just find it easier. Boom, boom, done, done. That's the one. Okay, so full level. Oh, you know what? 16 levels. Yep. So this track's still muted. Ah, and we're back. Sick. Window, copy, do it. Track 11, which is our lead, and that's on B. Erase that. We were hitting. Oh, 
Oh, let's see if I can even nail this. I highly doubt it. Oh, totally messed up at the end, but hopefully quantization fixed that. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Dude, I am just grooving. Ah. Ah. Cool. So if I wanted to build this into a song, what's dope is I can then say cool sequence, copy, copy, uh, window. I want to rename this and we'll call this part um, main part, I guess. So let's just call it M A I N. Over. Delete, 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 delete. Enter. Close. So if I wanted to put this into a song, really simple. Play the first sequence, then play the second sequence, then play the third. Now let's give the fourth a try and end it on the fifth, aka main. How do we want to repeat these? We can do one, we'll do this twice, we'll do this once, once, and then we'll end it on the bad boy four times. Now let's hear this back. Remember that had the boring kick. That's one thing that's nice about having multiple kicks loaded into a drum kit. Cool little piano thing comes in a little hot. I'll have to lower that later. Yep, yep. All oh, right, this is now an eight bar pattern. Forgot about that. It's nice to show you the bars on the side though. One time. Yeah, that's really loud. That? Oh, maybe I can't get to my mutes. Woo! That's <laughs> so dope. <laughs> anyway, that's the track. Uh, yeah, I mean, NPC 1000. So fast, so cool. Big important factor thing to remember here is just use good samples, slowly collect stuff, download a bunch of stuff. I got a bunch of stuff here. Maybe I'll start parting ways with it. I've been using them for years now. And um, and yeah, MPC 1000. This thing's dope. Let's, uh, let's go to this pattern before I roll out of here, just so I have something to do on the outro program. We already got a filter on here, so I'm going to just set up our slider Q2, which is this one here, to be the low pass. Our low point, I'll just set it to, let's set it to 19 and high 100 sure real time to the track sure so whoa muted yes sir all right well anyway hope you enjoyed this video you already know what to do if you want to support the channel check out the website got some merch up on there and uh, yeah i'll catch you in the next one thanks for hanging out hope you enjoyed this got a link down below as well going to reverb showing off some of the uh, mpc 1000 currently used prices so be sure to check it out in case you're interested in picking one up i love this thing i'm gonna be using it for the rest of my life actually that's a bold statement don't hold me to it i'll catch you next week share the love share the knowledge knowledge is power peace